Alright, in this project I will try to make a multi-sensor for measuring temperature, humidity and light illuminance. Beside that, the multi-sensor should be able to detect the motion and control the light in the room. At the end, products should be integratable in any existing home automation system, in my case that will be Home Assistant. I already have made multi-sensor PCB layout and here you can see me how I am doing preparation for PCB light exposuring. Now I'm peeling the board protective foil and putting the PCB layout over the photoresist layer. Here is my PCB exposure box. If you're not already, you can see detailed video on my channel about how I made this box. For this project I will go with 14 minutes of exposuring. Exposuring process is done and now I will jump to etching process. In the first step I'm diving the PCB into developer which will remove the parts of the photoresist layer that have been exposed to the light. Now I'm pouring the hydrochloric acid into the container with the PCB in it. A sufficient amount of acid is to cover the board. To speed up the process I'm adding 30% hydrogen peroxide solution. Do this outdoors or near a window and never inhale the fumes from the container. Once when the all copper excess is gone, pour the water into the container to dilute the solution. To be able to solder the parts on the board I will remove the photoresist layer from the copper with the acetone. The PCB looks very nice and I'm satisfied with the result. This is the parts that will be soldered on the PCB. Here is a few SMD resistors and one LED. The brain will be ESP8266 on the VMOS D1 mini board. Multisensor will be possible to connect directly to the main 220 AC, so I'm using HL key PM01 AC to DC power module. As you can see, this module gives 5 volts and 0.6 amps on the output. For measuring temperature and humidity I'm using HTU21D sensor, while for the light illuminance here is BH1750 sensor. Sensor HCSR501 will be responsible for detecting the motion. Here you can see how I have set the sensitivity and time potentiometers, and jumper is set in retriggering mode. Light in the room will be turned on and off with the help of this relay. There I have terminal block and few pin headers for the sensors. If you are more interested in schematics you can find it in the description and now let's start with soldering. Alright, now we can connect ESP8266 and the required sensors. For the motion sensor I have made this extender cable because this sensor needs to be located under the light bulb. This is how the final product looks like. Let's now connect the multi sensor to the PC and flash the firmware. I'm going to use ESP Home for making and flashing the firmware. As you can guess, from the title of the configuration file I will use this multisensor in my hallway. On the beginning of the file I have initialized I2C protocol where D1 is clock and D2 is data pin. Here is a definition of the motion sensor where it represents binary sensor on the GPIO pin D5. Sensor HTU21D has its own platform and I have wrote appropriate names and choose a currency of two decimals. Illuminance sensor has its own platform as well. All three sensors have throttle and delta filters to reduce the protocol latency. At the end there is a light on the GPIO pin D7. By clicking on the upload button firmware will be flashed into ESP8266 and the log will be shown in output console. Here we can see that all sensors works good which means that I can go now to home assistant.
Home Assistant has a great feature of auto-discovery, which means that when the new device appears in the network, Home Assistant will automatically detect it and show notification. Here I have discovered my hallway in multi-sensor, so I will click on the configure button. Now I will choose correct area where the device will be located and by clicking on the finish, multi-sensor is successfully integrated into Home Assistant. If I go to Entities tab, we can see that all sensors are here. All what I need to do now is to add multi-sensor values to my dashboard. Because I have motion sensor and ability to control the light bulb state, this is great moment for making automation of my hallway light bulb. I'm going to configuration and then automations. I will click on add automation and choose motion light blueprint. Here I will choose the motion sensor that will trigger the automation. Here is the light that I want to automate. Here is the time to how much the light will be turned on. Because multi-sensor has attached illuminance sensor, I can now set the automation illuminance threshold, which means that light bulb will be turned on only when it is a dark, and not when the hallway already have enough light. As you can see, I have added more options to my dashboard where I can manually control the state of my hallway light or I can even temporarily disable created automation. When I click on the light toggle button, there is a clicking sound coming from the relay. By looking on the other side, there is a LED which indicates the state of the relay. For the end, here is a picture how I have installed multi-sensor in my hallway. If you have in plan to make something like this, I suggest you to use the LED light bulb, because regular bulbs generate a solid amount of heat, which will have a big influence on the temperature and humidity sensors, as well as on the motion sensor. That's it for this video. As always, thank you for watching and till the next one, see ya!